happy. I'm about to stir together some homemade granola. And so I wanted to share this recipe with you. It's a great replacement for store-bought cereal, which is not healthy at all. Um, even the organic kinds have a lot of ingredients and unnecessary things added to them. So uh, the process of making cereal where they actually puff the grain to make flakes and shapes and stuff, is actually very bad for your health because it changes the structure of the grain so it makes it very difficult to digest so even though cereal is promoted as a healthy breakfast it's really not so this is a good alternative if you're wanting to have a quick breakfast you can make this to have with uh, almond milk or even organic milk or you can also just have it like in snack bags like for taking on a hike or just having a snack throughout the day so i'm going to start with eight cups of organic rolled oats. It is important to use organic oats. If you're going to go to all the trouble to make your family some healthy cereal like this, you do want to go for the organic grains because Roundup or glyphosate, which you've probably heard some about, is actually a, an herbicide that's sprayed very heavily on grains, which is often why people have a problem with digesting grains. It's not really a gluten issue as much as a glyphosate issue so you just want to make sure that you have really good source that you're going to make here so i'm going to do eight cups of oats granola is like the easiest recipe in the world you just dump it all together stick it in the oven on 350 for 20 minutes stir in anything that you want to add like raisins chocolate chips coconut pecans you can keep it plain. I'm doing like a simple cinnamon one, so you can add whatever you want to. And you can also make it without the cinnamon if you want to go more like a, a chocolate chip one and add a little bit of that in or coconut and toast it. And then you just finish it off in the oven in the last five minutes. So anyway, eight cups of oats. I have two teaspoons of salt. I'm just going to sprinkle the drop in. Four teaspoons of cinnamon. This makes a really good cinnamon raisin granola. I'm just going to toss that together, just incorporate that. Make sure you get it all mixed in. So we're going to mix in two thirds a cup of raw honey. So I'm just going to whisk together the wet ingredients and then we're going to put them into the jar and then put them in the pan and we're done, except for baking it off. Okay, so get that honey out. You can also use maple syrup in that if you want to. And then I have a cup of coconut oil. I just melted that on the stove, or actually Katie did before we got started here. I'm just gonna whisk that up together. And then I also have a two, a four teaspoons of vanilla extract. So we're just gonna give these a little stir here. Kind of hard to incorporate all that, but we just wanna kind of get it going so that it coats everything a little better. Give that a stir. And then we're just going to dump that in. Let's see here if I can get a spatula to get that good stuff out there. I'm wasting any of that. Okay. Alright, and then we just simply toss this together, making sure that we get all of the oats coated. It doesn't take but a second. If you need to, you can get your hands involved in this. Not necessary, but whatever you whatever you want to do with it. Just kind of stir that back down. So everything's coated pretty well. Just want to make sure I got it all the salt and everything mixed together. And then I actually have a lightly sprayed baking sheet here, so I'm just going to dump all this out. Anything that didn't quite get mixed in, I'll have a chance to incorporate it now. This is like the easiest recipe ever, and people think you're great because you're making your own granola, but it's like very, very simple, and it is delicious. So you just want to make sure that that gets kind of spread out everywhere because essentially we call it baking the granola. We're basically just drying it out in the oven. And so I just want to make sure to incorporate all of the liquid there. This looks a little dry over here. So if you see a dry place, you just mix it in like that. Make sure you don't have everything in the wrong spot. Now, if you like really crispy granola, you can take the same amount and empty it out onto two baking sheets and that will give you a thinner coat. 
and then you'll be able to um, have it be a little crispier. So I'm going to get that off there and then put this in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and then we'll take it out and add any additions that you want to like raisins or whatever and we finish it in five minutes and then just let it cool. It's only been 10 minutes so at half of the time I just want to give everything a quick stir and then I'll put it back in the oven for the other 10 minutes. Okay, so this has been in the oven for 20 minutes. I just pulled it out. So this is the part where if you want to make any additions, let's say you want to add some dried fruit. You don't want to bake that and put it in the beginning because it, the fruit gets really dried out. So I'm going to take a cup of raisins and just sprinkle it in here and incorporate it a little bit. And then I'm just going to pop it in the oven for the last five minutes to just heat these together and make sure they get coated. And you can also vary this granola recipe greatly. If you want to leave out the cinnamon, you can actually stir in toasted coconut and or stir in coconut and pecans at this at this stage. Or you can put the nuts in when you first uh, mix the granola together and then add the, the coconut just right in this last five minutes. You can also do some dark chocolate chips, a little bit of that. You can also mix in half a cup of peanut butter with your coconut oil, and you can make a peanut butter granola, which is really yummy. You can add dried cranberries or dates or anything like that that you want to as well. So I'm just gonna pop this back in the oven for the last five minutes, and then we'll let it cool. So I just pulled this out of the oven. We did a 20 minute bake time on 350. 10 minutes in, we pulled it out and gave it a stir, put it back in for 10 more minutes. And then I pulled it out, if you remember, and we added some raisins. I actually added a few mini chocolate chips. Not, not mini, but just to make the kids happy. And then I popped it back in the oven for five minutes. And here's the part that you decide if you want like a cluster type granola, you do not stir this until it is cool and you can just break it up with your hands. But if you want it to be more singular like this and in separate flakes, then this is where you would want to give it a stir. So it's really just a preference of what you like. And you can actually um, add all kinds of stuff to this recipe. Like I said, you can do toasted coconut, cranberries, uh, chocolate chips, peanut butter, and the coconut oil. You can do a lot of different add-ins. You can be as varied with this, add pecans, slippered almonds, walnuts, whatever you like, which is what's nice. You can make your own signature granola. And then when this is completely cool, you just want to store it in like a, a Rubbermaid container, like a, plastic, a glass container, which is what I like to use. You can store it in that, just in a sealed container. And it actually keeps for a couple of weeks if it lasts that long, but it's really delicious, so it probably won't last that long. But anyway, if you like this recipe, please subscribe to my channel below. And you can also find the comment, the recipe in the comments in the description. And then you can also find the recipe on my website, which is healthywithhappysperling.com. Hope you enjoyed it.